Hey everybody, I'm Greg with the Fix My Bleep channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. So this is going to be a setup video on the Foxmart Folding Portable Bed with Memory Foam Mattress. There's a link in the description where you can find this item. Now let's get to the video. Let's check it out. All right, tools required to assemble the Foxmart Folding Bed are a 14 millimeter wrench, a 10 millimeter wrench, and an Allen set. Please note that these tools are supplied when you purchase this bed. All right, time to assemble the Foxmart Folding Portable Bed. Let's get it going. Step one is assembling the legs. We're gonna go ahead and put the wheels on and then put the legs together. Let's get to it. All right, putting some feet on some legs. There are parts bag here. They have the parts bags numbered, which is really cool. Bag number three is the one you're after for the feet and the legs. Pop your feet through there, one of your casters through there. Take your top, put that down through, and uh, connect it on. You want to take one of the little flat wrenches they give you, hold that nut, and then thread that in there. Take the Allen. So while you're holding the nut with the wrench, tighten your Allen head up and tighten those legs on. And then just rinse and repeat for the other three legs, or the other three casters. Very simple. There's one leg done, ready to go. Same with this leg. Okay, wheels are done. Those are good. Next step, they want the braces put on. There's these two little uh, supports here. Those guys go on next. They hold these uh, legs together and they take a couple of little longer bolts. Bag five, it's calling for this bag. It takes four bolts out of bag five and that's all the bolts in the whole bag. Now one thing to note here, these legs have a lip on the end of them, or on the tops of them. It's saying that these lips should face each other. So be sure to note that, that these lips need to face towards the other set of legs in the diagram. So when you're putting these together. So I'm gonna set this leg up. Get the bolt started here. Get the piece of uh, connecting leg right here. Start threading this. Start threading into this other piece of rod. Okay, and that's started. Rinse and repeat. I'm gonna get this leg over here. Get the bolt. This guy here, get it through. Get it started to thread. Tops are facing inward. Get this other side. The bolts through, get them threaded, get them started. And then we'll wanna go through and snug them up here in just a second. But start threading them by hand, that way you're not cross-threading anything. Get your bolt, thread it through. If you have a drill driver, feel free to use that. I'm just gonna use the parts they gave us. Have to hold on to the support, keep it from spinning. Tighten her up. Now 
I would recommend you, you know, push down a little bit on it to keep it all uh, square and everything, and uh, that way it's not all skawampus while you're tightening it. Tighten up your other side. Good solid surface is always best to put these together on. Okay, she's together. All right, so that's steps one and two already done. Step three, attaching to the large center of the bed frame. Frame turned upside down, so your holes are closer to the floor on the side. The ridge is facing upwards. And you want your wheels like that. And your notches should line up with the weld holes. Just like that is what they're showing. And then they're saying bag six, you've got four bolts that are going to go through your weld holes. So we're going to do that next. All right, so with these bolts, we're going to use the Allen wrench once again and just line them up with your holes. Start them by hand. And once you get the thread started, then just go ahead and tighten them with the Allen. And you should be good to go ahead and snug these bolts down as well. If you have a driver, a drill driver, uh, go ahead and use that, feel free. Okay, the legs are officially attached to the frame. Let's move on to the next step. So step four, looks like we're turning the bed back over. We're attaching the two ends with the remaining bolts and some nuts. You can fold down the leg, it looks like, maybe to help support while you're putting this bed together. You're going to use bag four, which is your only remaining bag of parts. Dump that out. A bunch of uh, bolts and nuts here. We're going to go ahead and set this up. We're going to put the ends through here like so. You're going to lock together. Just like that. Go ahead and use your leg that it comes with. And now it looks like we use these support braces on here to help lock these parts together permanently. So you'll use one on each side and you'll put your bolts through those pieces. They're showing the bolts going through the top, dropping down through and then the nuts going on the bottom of them.
there's two. You pump through manually, uh, tighten them up with your fingers so you don't strip anything. Get them started. Okay, all the bolts are through with the nuts on them. Lock your corners in. Let's go ahead and tighten these guys up a little bit. You're going to need your smaller wrench, your 10 millimeter, imagine that, and you'll need your Allen for the tops of them. Go ahead and tighten these guys up, but don't over tighten them. Okay, those are all tightened up. Rinse and repeat, we're going to do that for the other end now. So the next step is step five, and uh, yeah, I already kind of skipped ahead and did that one, my bad. It's basically these uh, four supports on each corner. I already threw them in place, so I'll show you real quick. So right here, they just want to make sure that these four supports are all on each of these four legs. And I already threw them on the legs just to help hold up the ends of these things while I was putting this bed together. Because it actually made sense to have these on here so it didn't collapse while I was putting this thing together. But anyway, step five is done, you guys. Just make sure those four supports on the corners are already on. Step six, let's put the mattress on this thing. Easy enough. And we just opened it. It says allow up to 72 hours for the mattress to fully expand. Like it was probably half that size when we just unboxed it and uh, it's looking good. So one other part of step six is on the bottom of the mattress, you have these Velcro flaps and you basically can open them up and you wrap them around the bed frame. And that holds the mattress down to the metal frame and that's something I'm probably not going to do because I don't want to take the plastic off of it right now because we're actually going to take this up to our cabin. So that's just the last part of step six. Super easy. Let me show you real quick. Here's your Velcro. Pull that open. Wrap it right around your steel frame right here and right over there. And then that thing is not going anywhere. Okay, last but not least is step seven. We want to see how this thing folds up. So let's go ahead and try folding up our new Foxmart bed and check it out. All right, so let's see if this is actually going to fold up as advertised or not. I've never tried to fold this bed. So let's see what happens. I mean, it's trying to fold. There's a little catch thing here. So that's cool. It's got like this uh, helper hook thing. So 
we've got this latch here that helps. And I don't know if you're supposed to take these off first or not on these sides. down the sides here. If you lift up on them a little bit, they go down a lot easier. So, so just like that. So there is your portable folding bed. All set up, ready to go. Currently the price on this Fox Smart folding bed with memory foam mattress is running $289 on Amazon. There's a link in the description where you can find this item. Also I just noticed that they are offering a $30 off coupon. Not sure how long that's going to last, but check it out. Hopefully you found this setup video really helpful. Be sure and leave a comment. Also like and subscribe to the channel or at the very least give me a big thumbs up. Check out these other videos I've got going on and I'll catch you guys later.